Welcome to our tutorial about using session state. In our previous tutorials, we learned how to pass data between pages using a query string and using cross page posting. But if we try to use these methods to pass data objects, they simply won't work. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to get around this issue by employing the session state. First, We'll create a simple class that captures information from a web application. It stores the information in an instance of this object. And then when the user clicks on the next button, it stores this object in the session variable. Then it redirects the user to the next page, retrieves information from the object, and displays it on the next page. OK, let's begin by creating a class. Add new item, class. We're going to call it my test class. And click Add. Visual Basic asks us if we want to store this file in the app underscore code folder. This folder contains source files that are dynamically compiled for use in your application. This directory can be used like a bin directory. The difference is that you place source code files here instead of into compiled assemblies. We're going to click Yes. And now we're ready to type some code. Private M underscore first name as string private m underscore last name as string next we need two sets of getters and setters public property First name, open and close parenthesis as string, get, return, m underscore first name, next m underscore first name equals value. And let's create a second set. We'll fix this typo first. OK, public property. Last name. As string. Get. Return M underscore last name and M underscore last name equals value. OK. Let's go back to our default page now. Double click on the next button. We want to save the value from the text box's first name and last name. We want to save these values in the properties we created in our class. dim test class as new my test class. We've created a new instance of our class. Now let's type test class, period, first name, equals txt fname dot text. Next line, test class dot last name, equals txt l name dot text 
the blue squiggly underscore indicates a typo. Let me fix that. Now let's store our custom class object in the session variable. We're going to create a key, my key. Then let's type the class name, test class. We need to redirect this to a new page now. Let's call the new page next page. Click add and back to our code. Here we'll type response dot redirect and we'll pass the URL as a string argument. Next page dot ASPX. Let's go look at our next page now. At this point, we're ready to retrieve our object from session state. We're going to grab the value from this object and then display it on the page. The first thing to do is grab the object back from the session. My test class equals session my key now we've retrieved the object from the session state we want to display the value stored in this object on my page first name and test class dot first name here I'm going to insert a break let's fix that typo and let's continue on our next line Last name colon Oops. There we go. Test class period. Last name and close the parenthesis. Let's indent this a little bit. And we're ready to test it out. Let's type Tom in the first name field, then Smith in the last name field, and click Next. As you see, everything's okay. We're on nextpage.aspx, and we were successfully able to get data from our previous page, store it in a custom data object, put it in a session state, and then we retrieved it out of the session and displayed it on this web page. And this concludes our tutorial about using the session state.